Welcome back, everyone, to the fantastic world of Emacs. So I've uh, seen a lot of videos uh, recently. Uh, well, not a great deal, but a, a few um, sort of making fun of uh, uh, personal knowledge management systems. And first of all, I didn't know that something like org mode uh, would be considered a personal knowledge management uh, program. But apparently there's a whole uh, bunch out there and there's a, um, a lot of people who uh, tweak their knowledge management programs to the point where they start procrastinating. And I can I can definitely understand that. Um, but uh, one of the interesting things about uh, Emacs and org mode is that they're very general purpose tools. So you, it wouldn't seem like um, an obvious thing to think, well, this is going to be my next personal management uh, software tool. Um, typically, it's something that you you might be using already because you use a text editor for one reason or another, and you find that you can develop a system and keep iterating on it and keep discovering interesting things about it. Uh, that's one of the things I wanted to talk about here because uh, you'll find that as you're taking notes and kind of moving along through through different projects or meetings or to do items. Uh, sometimes you want to leave a note for yourself. So it's kind of like note taking on top of notes uh, in a way. But let me show you what I mean instead of just talking about it. Uh, a while back, we talked about my rolling log system where I'll use the capture system, control C and then C. And let's say just capturing a, a log entry with the J key. So this might be something like, um, let's tag it, you know, uh, Bob. Let's say we're going to deal with... Uh, with Bob here and, um, you know, talk to Bob about uh, the new, um, the new ordering system. Uh, you know, something went wrong. You need to call Joe. So you can capture that. Let's say you had a meeting with Bob and, and you discussed this. And then you might think, well, you know, while I'm here, I'm going to set up a to do so that I will catch this later, uh, you know, to call Joe a problem. So now you've got a note of what happened in the meeting with Bob, and you have a, a to-do item for yourself about calling Joe about the problem. And uh, if you have, uh, like what I do is every day, I'll take a moment to go through and just check any of these lingering to-do items. I have it on its own key. Uh, yeah, there it is, capital F in the agenda. It's just things marked as to do. So if I hit capital F, you'll see now, um, you know, call Joe about problem. So let's say I see that and, um, you know, I, I, I give Joe a call and he doesn't answer or there's some kind of issue. Then I might think, oh, okay, great. So now what do I do with this? Um, I can check it tomorrow or I can, just in case, control C, control Z, Z for Z. Uh, that opens up a little note panel here, and I can capture a note. Call Joe, didn't answer, and then Control C, Control C. Uh, it puts it in the in the logbook property. This is note taken, the date, the time. Call Joe, oops, didn't answer. Uh, so there you have it. So that is basically taking a note about a note and uh, leaving it there for yourself so that, you know, in, for whatever reason, you might want to go back and look if this project gets stalled. You can go back and think, oh, when was it that I called Joe? Or Joe can say, what, you called me? I don't think so. I didn't, I didn't see any call from you. And you can say, oh, no, I called uh, Wednesday at 836. Oh, yeah, I was bowling. So it's, it's a good, these are all good ways of uh, keeping a, a trail of breadcrumbs behind you as you're going through your workday or whatever it is you're doing. And you can uh, keep track of things that way. Uh, by default, I don't believe org mode puts things in the, in the logbook drawer. I may have called it a property. I guess it's a drawer. So maybe I, I think property is, uh, I think they're, they're all called drawers, but uh, basically there is a variable for this. So let's actually look at that really quick, just so you know, um, just so it'll, you know, you don't get any surprises when you try this. So let's, uh, let's meta X uh, customize variable. And I believe it's org log into drawer. So let's look at that variable. So you see, I have it on the option logbook, but you can actually, it looks like you can, you can put 
something else here if you want to customize it even further, but I think logbook is fine. That's a good uh, general purpose entry. And I believe it will store like clock punches in there as well. Uh, so that's a that's another topic for another video as well, uh, timekeeping. But, um, but yeah, so org log into drawer and then just save it. And then you will have your, your note entries logging into the logbook drawer. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's about it. That's uh, taking notes on top of notes in in org mode, uh, your your personal knowledge management system. So uh, yeah, you don't have to keep tweaking things or keep te uh, tweaking your system. You can just uh, keep a note on any heading that you happen to come across. It's a feature already built into org mode, so no obsessive tweaking here. But um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's something that I've got a lot of uh, good use out of over the years, so I hope it helps you out as well. And if you have any questions or anything, uh, definitely let me know. I'll see you all next time.